If you think about automated vehicles going out into the world, in fact, many of us will have our first interactions with them not actually driving in the car, but being a pedestrian, or being a bicyclist, or being a car in the lane next to these other vehicles. And the way they drive with us will have really strong impacts on traffic flow, on public acceptance, on all of these other issues. So what seems like a trivial problem, something that we solve as humans every day, you know, approaching crosswalks and figuring out, do I slow down, and if so, how much? When I start to actually put that in automated vehicles, I end up with a whole host of questions. And every question I answer, or possible answer I come up with, opens up a few more. You can say, for instance, well, why don't I just learn what humans do? We've solved this problem, so we'll just look at a bunch of humans, and we'll program the automated vehicle to do exactly what humans do. That can work in some ways. But the challenge is, is don't we want automated vehicles to be better? Don't we want them to have fewer accidents than humans? And what do we do about the fact that humans have some negative aspects of the way they approach intersections? People have found age biases in whether or not people will slow down. People have found racial differences in whether or not people stop at intersections. Do we want to encode automated vehicles with the worst aspects of humanity? Or do we, in fact, want to be better in some ways? If so, how do we do that? So the sort of takeaway message that I found from working on all of these things is that sometimes the problems that seem easy are actually really, really hard. They go outside of engineering and touch on many other issues of society, oftentimes things that we don't train uh, our engineers to be able to understand and handle. And sometimes problems that seem hard are actually very, very easy. Now, some of you may be better at judging these than I am, but I've found throughout my career that I'm often, at the beginning of a project, a very bad judge of whether something is going to be hard or easy. I find myself continually surprised by this. And the only way that I learn is to get right into the middle of the problem. And so as you think about this, as you think about ventures that you want to launch, as you think about things that you want to do in your life, I suspect you may find this to be similar. You can plan all you want. You can think about what's going to be hard and what's going to be easy. But when you're right in the middle of it, I suspect it's going to look very different. Things that really seemed like it would be hard to do, like our drifting DeLorean, were things that we were able to actually do in a few years. Things that seem really trivial, like how do I approach a crosswalk and how do I have respect for other road users in this environment are actually really difficult to come up with a common answer for. 